So you were talking about going back into the sound booth and then they're testing you. And who does that procedure then? Uh, we have audiologists on staff at the, okay. at the hearing shops. And what um, do they do then? They, um, they're, first of all, they are either master degree or doctor degree audiologists. Mm -hmm. okay. um, they go through the audiology program at one of the major universities. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, they're, they're basically they diagnose uh, different types of hearing loss. Mm -hmm. um, and then they, they provide solutions for patients. They do counseling for patients. Uh, pretty much anything that has to do with ears and hearing, uh, audiologists can provide services for that. Okay. And when the, they do do this, then they can show the new device. And mm -hmm. we have some examples here that I'd really like for you to show my viewers. Sure. To the old fashion where my grandma and grandpa wore to now the new technology today as well. Sure. Yes. Um, well, and I'll tell you, one of, uh, one of the stigmas and, and the problem that we have with people not wanting to do something about their hearing loss is they have this vision in their mind of what a hearing aid is. Mm -hmm. And it's my grandma's or grandpa's hearing aid, yes. which is one of these big clunky things that go in behind the ear. Uh -huh. Or even worse yet, one of these full pieces of plastic that fill up the entire ear. Mm -hmm. So now, not only does everyone know I have a hearing loss, but now <laughs> everybody knows I have hearing aids. Yes. And that's created part of the issue that we have why most people in the United States with hearing loss don't do anything at all. Well, the new technology is actually so much <laughs> smaller. I, I don't know how well we'll be able to see this, but mm -hmm. it is so much smaller mm -hmm. and more powerful and better than it's ever been before sure. that when people finally do come in and we demonstrate them and we put them into a restaurant situation or a bus station or an airport and put some noise around them and make them realize what they're missing. And oh, by the way, nobody notices it if yes. you don't want them to. Mm -hmm it kind of changes that stigma. Right. But we can't do that if we can't get them to come and see us. Mm -hmm. And that's the hard part. Right. But what I'd like for you to demonstrate on mm -hmm. this as well is the flexibility of the device. When I met my girlfriend and she was showing us sure. that uh, when she took it off and she could bend it sideways, backwards, and it won't break you no. know, to the extent of where when you would take it out, you'd cradle it almost to a pillow because you were so afraid you were going to hurt the device. Sure. No, these, yes. are, these are very durable now. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they come with great warranties now as well. So um, we, we really don't worry about some of the things that we used to. In fact, there's a new moisture coating that they use on them now that we can literally take them and put them into a glass of water, oh. shake them off, and they still work. Mm -hmm. So they have gotten much, much better, not only technology-wise, but durability-wise to sure. where that's not really a, an issue anymore. Okay. So in the new technology of this, of course, um, can you talk how it has improved in the recent years with <clears throat> what you're using, sort of how you can actually connect it to your phone? Sure. There's so much new with the new technology as sure. well. Sure. So. Um, the, the first thing that really has helped us is what's called open fit technology. Okay. And what that means in a nutshell is, is that we don't have to plug your ears up anymore mm -hmm. to now amplify. Okay. That was one of the issues that we always had. We'd shove a piece of plastic down in your ear <laughs> or something and plug your ear all up uh -huh. and then try to counsel you through the fact that your head always felt like it was in a barrel. Uh -huh. and that just didn't work. We, you couldn't counsel through that. Mm -hmm. And so now we use what's called open fit hearing where we don't plug your ear up. Okay. The only thing that goes down in the ear canal is this little dome right here. Mm -hmm. And so your ear canal's wide open, your hearing sounds naturally that you would normally hear, mm -hmm. and we only amplify the frequencies that you need help with. Right. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that the hearing aids now can actually tell the difference between speech mm -hmm. and noise. And that's where, with the older technology, mm -hmm. if somebody had a hearing loss and we just amplified everything, everything. Mm. You, went in, you go into a restaurant, it's a noisy restaurant, and now everything gets louder, mm. that doesn't really help. Mm -mm. It just makes it more annoying. Mm -hmm. And so now with the new technology, it, when you walk into a restaurant, it's so smart, it can tell the difference between what is noise and what is speech and actually make changes on its own so okay. that you hear better. Uh -huh. So that's a big thing. That's really helped us for the technology of hearing aids for people's hearing. Now they've taken it a step further and made them actually communication devices. Okay. So this actual device right here mm -hmm. has 2.4 gigahertz mm -hmm. wireless built into it. So if I hook this piece here to our TV, mm -hmm. it will now stream the TV in stereo right into the hearing devices. Oh. If I hook this little piece here on my lapel, mm -hmm. 
this is a converter. It will convert Bluetooth signal to 2.4 gigahertz, and now I can have my cell phone go directly through my hearing aids. Okay. So it's, it's, we've really come a long way mm -hmm. in making them more than just hearing aids. Now they're actual communication devices. Right. And even the older models, what they would always think is that someone's right in front of you, mm -hmm. whereas when you talk to people, you even off to the side or behind them, mm -hmm. trying to catch their attention. And the old technology, they would only project the voice right in front of you. Sure. Yeah. It was a one, it was an either or scenario. Mm -hmm. if, if you wanted to hear the speech in front of you, mm -hmm. then we had to turn off everything behind and, and from basically here on out. Right. And that's not a great uh, situation either because, no. you know, let's go back to that same restaurant. Mm -hmm. If we're having a conversation and the waiter's trying to get my order, I won't know he's there unless I turn and look at him with some of the older technology. Yes. Now, uh, it's again, it's different because it'll recognize that as speech even though it's not coming from where you're facing. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it's just, they've just come such a long way. Yes, wow. And with this new technology, of course, we <laughs> want to know a little bit about the cost. So let's say someone comes in and of course they want all the way from the hearing test mm -hmm. To new, the new technology, how would something like this cost? You know, the good news is is that uh, there's a real big range in costs on hearing aids now, and you can get good technology at multiple price points. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the past, if if you wanted really good hearing aids, you had to spend the big dollars. You had to spend six, seven thousand dollars to get that technology. Mm -hmm. And now we've got technology at all the different price points. Really, what you're what you pay for when you go up in price is you pay for a lot of automatic functioning okay. and you pay for more features, more bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And so um, at the hearing shops, we have hearing aids that start at $745. They're oh. fully digital. They're, they're a good hearing aid. Mm -hmm. um, now, do they have the wireless and all that? No, they don't. But, but they will help people in noise and in situations where they're having difficulty. Mm -hmm. And our hearing aids go all the way up to $3,000 each for one with all the bells and whistles and, and all the wireless functions and, and everything else. One thing that really is important is just to figure out for a patient, what do they actually need? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's where do they have difficulty? How active are they? What is their lifestyle? And what is their budget? Mm -hmm. Because we can pretty much always find something that fits into those parameters sure. um, based on our appointment with them. Mm -hmm. So it's not as if that you would go ahead and give them one hearing aid and then in five years they'd have to come back for another one. This would probably last them a good 10, 15 years? Well, it all depends. Okay. Um, number one, on how well they take care of them. Oh, you know, yes. it's kind of like a car. If mm -hmm. you change the oil, it'll drive forever. Yes. Now, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, is what hearing aids won't do is hearing aids will not stop the progression of hearing loss. Sure. And so, as again, as we age, our hearing is going to get worse. It's mm -hmm. just inevitable. And so, at some point in time, the hearing will get to a point where the hearing aids are not able to do what they need it to do. Sure. Now the good news is, is all the new hearing aids are digital hearing aids that are all controlled by software and computers. Mm -hmm. And so we get upgrades to them uh, all the time. We can make adjustments to them. Okay. Um, it's usually about a five to six year lifespan that we see with hearing aids and not because they just stop working, mm -hmm. but because that's when people kind of realize that, you know what, it's time to look at the new technology and see if it's that much better than what I have now. Sure. Just like buying a computer. You know, Very buying, similar. Yes. And you always want to be up on the technology as well. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And this is loved ones listening to you and you can hear your grandkids and such. Yeah. Well, the good news is, is that when people do finally come in mm -hmm. and they take the time to have their hearing tested and go through and try different hearing aids and, and give it the time that it needs, one thing that people need to understand that that getting help for hearing loss is not an event. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Yes. And, and I always, because it's taken years and years for their hearing to get where it is. Mm -hmm. And so if their hearing, if normal hearing is here and the hearing loss is here, mm -hmm. And they came in to see us and we put hearing aids on them and we put their hearing back to normal hearing today, mm -hmm. the brain couldn't tolerate it. It couldn't handle it. Uh, whenever they, somebody shook their car keys, they'd jump out of their shoes. Oh. Or, or uh, they realized the turn signal on their car actually makes sound. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's, it's overwhelming to the brain because the brain hasn't heard those sounds in so long. And so what we have to do is we do it in a series of steps. Okay. So we give them back certain sounds first. So mm -hmm. we're, the birds. 
Okay. So you know what? Yeah. This week you're going to hear birds again, and you're going to hear things that you probably haven't heard in a long time. Some of them you'll recognize. Some of them you won't. Okay. Just keep really good track of that, and when we see you back, we're going to make adjustments, and we're going to give you a little bit more volume and a few more sounds mm -hmm. for your brain to adjust to. Sure. Um, and so if they take the time to go through that and go through the process with us, very rarely do we have anyone to say it was a bad decision. Yes. Most people say, I wish I would have done this earlier. Yes. And it, would it overstem the brain then with, if you just put them up to that same level then? It, it varies based on patient, but in most cases, yes. Mm -hmm. um, in most cases, we, we can't fit somebody who's never worn amplification before mm -hmm. at what we call target or close to normal hearing. Sure. Initially, it's just too much. It's too mm -hmm. overwhelming. Yeah. Um, now, some people get there faster than others. Sure. Uh, you know, some people, it only takes them a couple weeks. Some people, it takes them a couple months mm -hmm. um, before we can finally say, okay, we're at target. Mm -hmm. we are, we're where we're supposed to be. You're hearing sounds the best that your ears will allow them to be heard anymore. Okay. And we remind them that you know, we can't fix broken ears. The mm -hmm. only thing we can do is take what they have left of their hearing and enhance it as much as possible with the new devices to let them hear better than what they're hearing now. Okay.